What's your team name? The OP Herd. What did your sea perch need to do and how did you design it to meet that requirement? Our sea perch needs to go through a series of obstacles both at the very end, surfacing above the water and then submerging back and then going back to the obstacle and finishing at the fastest time. We met these requirements by designing it first. We had to follow the instructions on first how to build the sea perch. Then in our, in our spare, in our free will, we took our little modifications as in our flotation device, or in this case our floaties, we reshaped them to have it neutrally buoyant so it can come up, so it can surface and submerge at the same rate. So then it'll have the best speed. How long did it take you to build and test your sea perch? Describe the process. So it took us about 16 man hours to be exact, because since every day we had about two hours. So the process we took at the first day we got assigned our teams and then we started on working on measuring the PVC pipes and working on the motors also. So then on the next few days we worked on cutting the PVC pipes, then assembling the frame and then we attached the propellers to the motors. And then after that we assembled the whole thing together. Then we then on the weekend we went to step to the natatorium and to test our robot. Who did what on your team and why? Well, um, hi, my name is Truk and I measured the pipes and then I cut the pipes and then I assembled the ROV. Hey, um, my name is Jalen and I had to actually get the ROV out of the water and I had to um, uh, apply the net, um, help uh, guide the, um, the turbines and I helped wire and solder the controller. Hi, my name is Giovanna and I worked on building the motors. I also helped on um, soldering the motherboard, the circuit board, and, um, and uh, creating the poster. I'm Isaac and I helped Giovanna work on the motors as they're doing like stripping the wires for our motors, making them waterproof. We also helped each other with soldering on the circuit board and I also helped with the poster. Hi, my name is Mikhail and well I helped him with measuring and cutting the PVC pipes and assembling the frame. Also, I helped with um, soldering the motherboard and with the presentation behind us. And, and also, I was the designated driver for our ROV in the competition. What skills did the team have and what skills had to be developed? The skills that we already had from Kyle, that he was a good solder. So he came in handy when we had to start um, soldering our, our motors with the wires and on the circuit board. Um, we also had Jalen's help when we were, sent, we were putting on the net and he also helped out Mikhail with the soldering because we did fail one or two times. And the skills we had to adapt for me, for example, I had to get uh, good control over the ROV because I did not know, in the beginning, I did not know how to control it. And Giovanna's and Truk's help, well, since not being sexist, but since they have designed the poster boards, they made it colorful and made it very professional. What changes, if any, did your team choose to make to the design and why? We encounter, encountered a problem with our ROV device. It was positively uh, buoyant, and we needed to maintain our ROV inside the water at, um, in the middle. So we cut our, we cut our flotation device and, main, and maintained it so it can process, so it can process up at a good rate. What did your team learn from the testing and evaluation of the abilities of your sea perch prior to the challenge? Okay, um, the team learned that first we had to we had to learn how to work our robot and how to 
encourage the driver because they have to do two things at one time and that's listening to their partners and having to drive. Some other obstacles that we have overcome was building the um, ROV. We had our remote actually, um, like it, it stopped working two times. And let me see, we have, most of us learned how to have patience and how to also have courage of doing things in public. And we also have to learn multitasking. Thank, Thank you. you. We are the OP herd.